In this video, we will learn how to use tangents and the slide rule to solve right triangles. We'll start with this triangle in the upper right here where we have an acute angle of 39 degrees and an adjacent side length of 14 and an unknown opposite side length that we want to solve for. And we know that the tangent of an angle, if it's an acute angle in a right triangle, is the ratio of the opposite length to the adjacent length. So we know that the tangent of 39 degrees, whatever it may be, is this unknown x divided by 14. We can solve for x by multiplying by 14, and we find that it's 14 times the tangent of 39 degrees, and of course a calculator would evaluate this for you very conveniently, but we're going to look at how it works on a slide rule. If you take the plastic Stirling slide rule and take a look at the back, if you will, of the slide, you'll find that there are scales labeled S, L, and T, and the T scale is for finding tangents. And to work the T scale, you need to align it with the D scale. So looking at the right-hand side here, I want 45 degrees on the T scale to line up with uh, the value 1 on the, the D scale, the right index of the D scale. And now if I want to know the tangent of 39 degrees, all I have to do is locate 39 degrees on the t-scale. And you have to be a little bit careful with the t-scale to make sure that you are reading the divisions properly. So here's 35, here's 40, and so this would be 36, 37, 38, 39. So 39 is right there. And if I read down to the d, I find that the tangent of 39 degrees is about 0.81. And I know it's 0.81 because I know that since 39 degrees is less than 45, I need to have an opposite side that is less than the adjacent side. And so the ratio of opposite to adjacent has to be less than 1. So this can't be 81. It's got to be 8.1. Now, I need to multiply that by 14. And one way to do that, it's a little cumbersome, but it works is to reverse the scale and get your index aligned with this 8.1 and then I'll understanding that that's 0.8 or that it, that, that is 8.1 and then I'll multiply that by 14 in the usual fashion so I'll move the slide down to 14 on the C and I will read on the D about one, one, I'm going to say four. And so my interpretation of that would be that the length of this missing side, that's 14 tangent 39, is about 11.4. Another problem that we might use the, the slide rule to try to explore is this bottom one, in which we have an unknown angle. Again, this is in a right triangle and an opposite length of 6 and an adjacent length of 5. And so we would say to ourselves, all right, the tangent of this unknown angle with measure x is equal to 6 over 5, also known as 1.2. And we want to know what the angle is that has a tangent of 1.2. So I'll take the slide rule and I'll again reposition the scale so that the T scale, the tangent scale, is facing forward. I will align the right ends, if you will, of those scales. And now I sort of want to read it backwards from the way in which I read it the first time around. So I want to look at where 1.2 is on the D, and then I want to see what angle corresponds to that on the T. And so I'll go down here towards the left, find 1.2, and then read up to the T, and I'm in the territory where the angles are pretty small. So here's 6, which is sort of under the, the left edge of the, of the slide. And here is 7, and here is 8. So this must be about, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like those major divisions are each 0.2, and the smallest division is 0.1. So this is going to be about 
6.8. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a thing because just looking at the situation here, clearly this angle has got to be greater than 45 degrees. And yet, my scale shows me a 6.8. And there is a thing that we need to be aware of, and that has to do with the fact that if you look at the T scale, we didn't mention this the first time, it only goes up to 45. And so what are we going to do after that? Well, we're going to make use of the fact that when I have two different angles in a right triangle, what's opposite to one is adjacent to the other and vice versa. Okay, So the tangent of some angle is the reciprocal of the tangent of its sort of opposite pair if we're talking about two acute angles in a right triangle. And so what am I going to do with that? Well, I don't have the ability to pull an angle greater than 45 degrees off of my slide rule directly, but I can sort of make do. In the f I'll take this other angle in my triangle and name it Y. And it must be the case then that the tangent of Y is 5 over 6. So what I can do is I can find an angle that has a tangent of 5 over 6, and having done that, I can just subtract that value from 90 degrees, and I should have the angle I'm actually seeking, which is the angle X. So I have to do a little bit of work in order to divide 5 by 6, but I know how to do that. So I'm going to get my C and D back in their usual position. I'm going to divide 5 by 6 in the usual fashion, so I will line the cursor up to the 5 on the D, I'll slide over the 6 on the C, and I will read off from the index on the C down to the D that that value is about 0.83 something, 833, 8834 maybe. I don't care so much about what that value is precisely. Uh, rather what I care about is what angle has that value as its tangent. So once I've got my cursor over there to hold the position, I'll flip the slide over. I will align it with the D and I'll see that we are in the neighborhood of about 39. Point, uh, what is that? I'm going to say that's about 39.8. These scales are a little bit odd. If you'll notice, it's about six subdivisions between degrees in this part of the T scale, which is a trifle unusual. So. It's about 39.8. Now that's why, remember. And what we ultimately were interested in was x. But since these are two acute angles in a right triangle, we'll know that x is just 90 minus 39.8. And that's going to be what? Well, 90 minus 40 is 50, so this is going to be something like 50.2, and that's degrees.